Hi diggers! Uh, welcome to the first video tutorial of the new uh, desktop version of the game called WebGL. Uh, as was already announced, Flash will no longer be supported after 2020, so we had to make a new version of the game. Um, uh, and it's gonna be pretty cool, Diggers, because we have implemented lots of new features you guys have been requesting and we have improved uh, old features and we have improved also the user interface. Uh, as you can see, you can now switch between the old Flash and the new uh, WebGL versions. Uh, however, on the behalf of the whole Diggies Adventure team, I would like to encourage you to keep playing the WebGL version of the game. Uh, because we would like to improve it as much as possible uh, since, you know, the Flash version will eventually be turned off. So as soon as you guys start playing the WebGL version and get accustomed to it, the better. Uh, okay, so let's get down to the business, shall we? Uh, this is how your uh, camp actually looks like in the WebGL version of the game. Uh, so let me just take you around. In the upper left corner you can see your experience bar and you can also see the level. Uh, right next to it there is energy bar and nothing really changed with these two. Uh, on the other side you have your coins, your gems, uh, but which is new is the settings button. When you click on it you can see that uh, this is the place where you can uh, turn off and on gem confirmation, special effects, sounds, music or decorations look like this. You can also contact our support from here, you can read through privacy policy or terms of use and this is the place where you can find your player ID and the version of the app. Uh, make sure you keep your player ID safe so that uh, if there is ever an emergency in the future uh, our uh, support will, would take, you know, uh, quickly take care of it. Uh, okay, so right below the experience bar you can find the switch button uh, with which you can switch between the day mode and the night mode. When you click on it, uh, you can uh, you receive also the confirmation that your camp has been successfully switched into the night mode. Uh, right below it you can see quests. Uh, the quests section are very similar to the flesh ones, so let me just quickly show you. Uh, when you click on the first one, for example, you can see uh, an information in here that um, the, this quest is a story one. So it's Valentine's 2019. You can also see objectives. You can enter the location with this enter button. Uh, the quest underneath is the main quest, a quest as you can see here. You can again see objectives and you can enter the location like this. So it's really, really similar. Uh, let me now let me show you a caravan outposts, uh, kitchen and foundry because they work exactly the same. Uh, so I clicked on foundry and I can see that uh, for quite a few recipes are already finished. So if you would like to only uh, collect the, the finished recipe, you can just click on this green button like this like this and then you can um, you can re repeat the same recipe with this button like this like this and like this you can also speed up the recipe uh, with this button uh, and you can cancel the production with this button yes if you would like to choose um, if you would like to choose another recipe you can click for example on the dragon ignot and you can uh, you can click on smelt uh, you probably notice that there are these two buttons. The first one is collect all and the second one is restart all. Uh, collect all will collect all your finished recipes. I had only just one but never mind. Uh, and restart all will restart all your recipes all at once like this. So I think this is pretty cool. You guys have been actually requesting these uh, collect all, restart all, remove all uh, buttons. So I think you are going to love it. Uh, okay, the, the kitchen works exactly the same. You can collect, you can uh, repeat the same recipe, you can speed up, you can um, 
choose, for example, fried mushrooms, you can choose another recipe and so on. And the same goes for also the caravan outpost. Um, you can speed up, collect, repeat, cancel like this. Choose another, uh, for example, like this, another destination. Uh, okay, going further, I would like to introduce you to this beauty. Uh, it's, uh, it's a building called windmills, but um, uh, this uh, placing windmills have changed. So when a friend visits you, uh, he or she will no longer be able to keep placing manually uh, windmills on your camp. He or she will have to click on this uh, windmills building and place, uh, and place windmills like this. Uh, when you in your own camp click uh, just like I did click on the windmills building you can see the information who gave you the the windmills when exactly they expire and you can remove them one by one or you can remove them all at once with this button uh, let me just quickly visit Mr. Bill and I will show you how it looks like visit camp So, uh, this is Mr. Bill and uh, I can see this building. So, I click on it and I see three slots. So, I just keep hitting place, 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 place. And it's done. Easy, right? Uh, so, I placed um, uh, eight windmills to Mr. Bill. I will get back to my camp with this button. Okay. Uh, so these, uh, this is windmills. If you have, please, if you have any questions, just leave us a comment under this video, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, okay, let me now quickly explain this bottom menu over here. Uh, the first one is map. Uh, map uh, looks like this now. You can switch between regions like this: Egypt, Scandinavia, China. Uh, here is Atlantis, Greece, or uh, the new one, South America. Uh, and the stories or events has been moved in here. And you can see that here is Valentine's 2019. Uh, going back to Egypt, for example, you can see that here are the, the gods. And here is information that you have indeed finished all locations there without uh, having to uh, click actually on the god. So it's pretty cool. Um, you can see here the main map, the father's map, the repeatables map, and you can also visit the Luxor town like this. Um, which is pretty cool, again, diggers, is that you can now visit the towns between regions like this. Here is Fjordheim or uh, Dijon in China. So I think it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Does it work? Okay. So going back to the to the map, uh, you can see that uh, right now, for example, me in my case, I'm on a dragon of water, and I finished only 13 of 22 locations. Uh, so you you can get back to your camp with this button. Uh, the next one is last location. I think I do not have to explain it. It will take you to the last location visited. Uh, the stories. Uh, when you click on the stories uh, button, it will show you uh, the blue one as the current one, Valentine's 2019, and the green ones are available for purchase for gems. Uh, now let me remove my face. And um, you can see here friends button. Uh, please do not be alarmed when you do not see a gift icon uh, in here, because all has been moved under one and it's called friends. Uh, you can see here that uh, you, 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 you can see here your friends uh, received gifts or sent a gift. Uh, please bear in mind that I will make a separate video about social uh, mechanics in the game. Um, so please stay tuned and keep checking our social media channels. Um, Okay, the next one is museum. Under museum you can find achievements, treasures, pantheon, journal. Achievements are divided into two lines. 
The first one is uh, regular game achievements. You can click and drag or you can use these arrows just like usual. Uh, the, the bottom line is events achievements uh, and you can see yes uh, how many you finished and how many uh, not. For example I still need to finish the Valentine's 2019 but I'm going to do it after, uh, after today. Uh, then you have treasures and they work exactly the same. The first line is uh, the regular game treasures you can find in the locations as you progress through regi re regions. And the bottom uh, line is events, treasures, and you can see how many you finished and how many you did not. Uh, then you, you have here Pantheon and you can here read the Father's and Diggy's journal. Uh, then inventory and the shop, uh, I will make a separate video about these two because there are quite a few uh, things I would like to explain to you in more details and it will take some time. So uh, I will make a separate video about inventory and shop. So again, stay tuned. Uh, you will get to the underground part of your camp by clicking on this letter. When you click on it, you can see that your underground section of your camp has uh, been made um, horizontal. So you can click and drag to see all your camp equipment in here, like this. Which is also pretty cool and pretty handy is that you no longer need to Hi. Uh, you know, you no longer need to click any extra um, uh, buttons to see the stats of your camp equipment. The stats uh, are automatically displayed under each piece of your camp equipment, which is pretty cool. Uh, okay, I think this is it. So uh, if you have any questions, just leave us a comment under this video and uh, see you soon. Bye, diggers.